Hello my dear friends, my name is Harold and welcome to the Sanctum, your gateway into learning and exploring the ancient wisdom of the East and the West. In this video we shall be talking about some of the yogic internal alchemical practices and the development and cultivation of three particular energies in the body which represent themselves as fire, which is also known as Agni in Sanskrit, which means fire. So these three fires are present in the energetic double of an individual, according to the yogic system, according to the yogic perspective, and in the yogic sciences. And these three fires can be cultivated to enhance the human being and the experience of life as a human being tremendously. So let's dive deeper into these three fires and what they actually represent and how cultivating each of these three fires, because the fourth one you can't really cultivate, can lead to immensely positive physical health, immense creative outbursts, as well as the ability to perceive that which is beyond the senses. So these three fires, or Agni, are present in three locations of the body. So that is first in the navel region, or three fingers below the belly button. Towards the spine is the first fire. This is often known as Jataragni, or the digestive fire. So Jataragni or the digestive fire is our fire of digestion. It is the fire that digests our food. So we all know if you were to cut into our physical body or into our stomach, we're not going to find a fire there. There is no physical fire in there. So we're talking about an energetic fire that is responsible for the heat that is created due the, during digestion. So this applies to the physical digestion of food. Now in, in Ayurveda, this is seen as when food is consumed, whatever that food might be. Physically, yes, your, your stomach digests it and all the other enzymes in your stomach and your mouth and saliva and all, all of that, yes. But energetically, the energy that's there in the food, the prana, gets burnt up by this jataragni or the digestive fire and forms two components, what you call ama and ojas. Ama is a toxin and ojas is a kind of non-physical vital energy that creates good health and spiritual well-being in an individual. Okay? So certain foods, depending on what you're eating, healthier foods have a large amount of ojas and only a tiny bit of ama. And of course, ojas consumes ama. So if there is a little bit of ama, the ojas will consume it. And what's left is a large amount of ojas, which is used up by the individual. Whereas if you're eating unhealthy food, stuff like processed food, highly fried food, and everything that is considered unhealthy, this creates a large amount of ama maybe a tiny bit of ojas and of course the ojas tries to consume the ama may burn some of it but a lot of the ama the toxin is left and this toxin is stored in fat cells so you can see how even in this ayurvedic perspective healthy and unhealthy food can affect the creation of fat cells and the the burning of fat cells by by this process so this is the jataragni now this doesn't just apply to the digestion of food but it also applies this fire applies to the digestion of experiences in your life maybe there's something that happened in your life that uh, of a negative nature that you haven't quite processed yet so it might create a sick feeling in your stomach whenever you think about it you feel sick that's because in some symbolic way, this Jataragni, the stomach fire, this digestive fire, is also responsible for digesting experiences 
that you have, may have experienced in your life. Okay, This is also the fire that is responsible for robustness. So the stronger this digestive fire is, the more the younger you are, meaning physically, the more younger you feel, the more vital, the more energy you have, the more you're able to, the more activity you have, the more motivated you feel to go and do stuff out there in the real world. And little by little, this fire in the belly starts to dwindle as an individual grows older. So there are certain practices that you can do to begin to develop this fire and the fire that I'll be describing, the three fires that I will be describing in this video. And the internal alchemical yogic practices to develop all three of the fires that I'm now talking about is all on my Patreon channel in a brand new series called Internal Alchemy. So check that out if you want to learn how to cultivate these three fires. So the next fire is located in the throat and it's called Chittagni. So Chitta could mean intelligence in Sanskrit. So Chit Agni means the fire of intelligence or the intellectual fire. So this is the fire that is responsible for expression and creativity. Okay. When somebody has a naturally strong Chit Agni, they may be great speakers, they may be great singers, they may be great musicians, they may be wordsmiths, they may be great artists, they may be great chefs, anything creative. When the chitagni is very strong, the power of the creativity of that particular art gets enhanced because the person's expressive fire in their throat is strong. This is also related to intelligence. So the stronger their chitagni is, the better they are in able to shine light on problems and being able to get to the solution of particular problems that they may have in life. So this chittagni, the intellectual fire that's there in the throat, can also be enhanced using particular yogic practices, which I describe on my Patreon channel. And when this is potently strong, creativity of the individual soars through the roof. If they are a writer, they may come up with incredible stories. If they are a musician, incredible melodies, incredible lyrics come to them. If they are an artist, the most profound of creative images and inspiration they may download in order to express through the fire of their chitagni. And then finally, the next fire that we can cultivate is the third fire, which is up here in the third eye in that region in the forehead is called Bhutagni. So the word Bhuta in Sanskrit could mean elemental. So this is elemental fire. This is the fire of perception. When this fire is cultivated, an individual can see through the experiences and appearances of reality. They can see through the Maya or illusion of reality. They can see through deceit, they can see through lies. They can see life for what it is. Also, when the Bhutagni becomes stronger and more alive, they're able to perceive that which is beyond the five senses, maybe even subtle energies. Some people may begin to see auras. Some people may even begin to tap into a realm of awareness or a sense of knowing of what an individual may be experiencing. In some cases, through immense practice, an individual may even know past, present and future. That is seeing through the illusion. Because this is, of course, the center is the center of perception and psychic abilities. But with that perception, it creates vision. So a person with a very developed Bhutagni can see. They can see life for what it is but they are also visionaries. They can create a vision about what they want to happen. And when all three fires are in alignment, they have the creativity, the expression, to be able to put forth a plan and allow that expression to flow through to get to that vision. And if their Jitaragni is strong enough, 
now they have the energy, they have the vitality, they have the power to take action and get to that goal. And when the three fires are highly charged, it's inevitable that the individual gets to their goal because they have the fire to do so, the power to do so. So, and of course, the fourth fire is called Sarvagni. Now, this is can be translated to primordial fire, which is the first fire. It's the fire that all other fire comes from. And for that reason, it is not in the body. It is beyond ourselves and our comprehension. And for that reason, it cannot directly be worked with in the same way that we can with the three fires that I've just described. But just so you know, these are the four fires in the yogic tradition. And every single one of us can develop these four fires. Some of us may have a weaker Jitaragni or a stronger Chittagni and a stronger Bhutagni or that may vary from person to person but know that each fire can be strengthened using the practices that I talk about on my Patreon channel. So if you like this video I hope you found it informative give it a like please subscribe and I hope to see you very soon in the next video. Peace.